Hey everybody! Today's video is going to be like a little different take on empties. I thought I would just cut to the chase and go ahead and repurchase, you know, do my little restock of the things that I have run out of or the things that I'm really close to running out of that I really don't want to be without. And I thought it would be fun to just kind of see it from that perspective, you know, because um, sometimes we rave and rave on certain products, but what are you actually going and buying again and again? So this is going to be drugstore edition because I was in Walmart. I had Belle with me. She's my little helper. She's actually a really great shopper. What would you like, mommy? If I tell her something like, hey, don't let me forget the bananas, she won't let me forget the bananas. She's good to have around. But um, I picked up some things that are like continual repurchases. One of those items would be my Equate two-in-one daily facial cloths. I'm such a broken record with these products, but for a long time, actually, I had been onto the Olay ones, and I, that's going back to college, y'all. I was using those in college to take my makeup off. Then I started getting these. Do you ever feel like you're the person who's single handedly keeping a product in business <laughs> like that's me. Um, this is for normal skin. It says gently exfoliates and conditions and they're called two-in-one daily facial cloths. They used to call these like hydrating face wash cloths but they're basically these little folded up cloths and you add water to them and they suds up. I can get them all over my face um, right up in my eye area. I never have any irritation and they're just really good at effectively removing all of my makeup. I've tried so many different like cleansing balms and all these crazy things here and there and this is always the thing that like does the cleanup job for all the stuff that the other thing couldn't get rid of, you know? So in here there are 66 cloths. There's like two plastic pouches of them. And yeah, I just love them so much. Um, I've been asked a lot about favorite makeup removers and this is just my favorite thing to use. I mean, there might occasionally be like a really resistant lip product or an eye product that just doesn't want to come off. And then I'll follow up with uh, maybe an oil-based eye makeup remover on a cotton round. But most of the time, this stuff's going to do the trick and it still feels pretty gentle on my skin. I'm not like scrubbing them to pieces and they're great for travel too. As opposed to like throwing in an entire thing of wet wipes, you can just throw a few of these for, you know, however many days you'll be gone and they're great. I love them. Now I am about out here of my uh, Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water, the one for all skin types, even sensitive it says. And I love using that at the start of my day, like when I sit down here to my makeup area. I feel like I'm able to bypass that step of like rinsing my face off at the sink and I just put some of this on a cotton pad, go all over my skin, and my skin really has been very good. I'm not one who deals with a lot of breakouts. I feel like my skin is getting just that nice little fresh start before the makeup routine. So I got another one of those. Be gentle with that one, okay? Gently. All right. Oh, I got a new deodorant. <laughs> Actually, this is a deodorant I have repurchased now for the third time, and it's the Dove Dry Spray Invisible. It's the one that says no white marks on 100 colors. I cannot believe how good this deodorant is, and I normally get it, I think it has a pink cap, and this one has a blue one. I think that might just be a different um, scent on it, perhaps. Gosh, I hope I bought the right one because I really love the pink one. The scent is really, really good on the one with the pinkish colored cap. But I was shocked, you guys, because I normally use the Secret Clinical, like the Oprah's Life class <laughs> recommended, uh, you know, stress relief, whatever. I would normally use that. I thought it was doing about as good a job as any deodorant could do for me. No. Now when I use what I have left of that instead of this stuff, I can tell a major difference. This stuff keeps me so dry. It's so like sheer colorless. I feel like I'm not even putting that much on at all and it works so well. And you guys, I am a hot person. I sweat. It is summertime, you know, and this stuff so good. Again, I hope the blue cap that I repurchased isn't a fail because two times now I've gotten the pink one. Okay, I needed some more eyelash glue. Story of my life, I always need new eyelash glue and the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive I love, but it's like you can't find that anywhere. Everybody knows this struggle that we're all going through now. So I end up getting this Kiss um, Strip Lash Adhesive in clear. This is the one I have sitting here that I'm almost out of and it also is the one that says with aloe. It's pretty darn close to the Revlon. Like it's, it's getting me through. It's going to be good enough. Even though I wasn't like jumping up and down about repurchasing this product, I still, you know, I know I need it. I got some cotton swabs, some q-tips, and they are leopard print. Why? 
Why are these necessary? Well, um, I am almost out of my box of hot pink Q-tips. In what way can we go bigger than hot pink Q-tips? Leopard print, animal print Q-tips, that's where it's at. I did a mascara repurchase because I do not want to be without my Lash Paradise and I was trying to calculate last night, how long have I been using the current tube, my first tube of that? And I think it's been between two and three months that I've been using it and it is definitely starting to seem a little dry. It's Still giving me a good application right now, but I can just tell a difference in the formula and I do not want to be without this mascara. So I went and got a new one and then I noticed Wait, what's Mystic Black? It says Mystic Black for the shade, and the shade of the one that I'm currently using, this one just says Black is Black, my first tube, but yeah, this one says Mystic Black. I'm trying to understand what the difference must be. Is it gonna be like the blackest black ever, or is there gonna be some kind of sparkle in this? I don't know, you guys. I will have to report back to you on that. I may have another two weeks left with that other um, Lash Paradise, but I love that mascara so much. Great for length, great on days when I don't want to do any eyeliner. Nothing real big with the eyes, but I really want my lashes to stand out. That's the best stuff. And then I always repurchase this, <laughs> the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistant. I couldn't even begin to tell you how many times I've repurchased this stuff because it's the best on the lower lashes when you don't want smudges. If you've got special occasions and you need to wear it all over like upper and lower lashes, it's really good. It gets paired so many times with so many other mascaras. What happened down there? Some paint. Nope, it was at me. I got some more of this stuff because I want to compare it to um, some other setting sprays that I've been using. It's my beloved Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. It says 12 hour power on it. It says coconut water infused up here. And I had gone in search of this probably two or three other times that I've been to Walmart. And it hasn't been in stock. So when I saw it the other day when I was with Belle, I thought I'm grabbing that. Completely used one of these up. And while I'm not in dire need of a setting spray right now, like I have others I could use. I'm just wanting to do some comparisons between this specifically and um, the one from Too Faced, the Hangover one. It seems like they're really, really close. Now you guys know what happens when you're shopping in the drugstore, even though you've got your list of things, you know, your empties you need to replenish, you end up picking up some other things that you don't maybe necessarily need. One of those items is this Maybelline Face Studio Blender Sponge. Um, I have not used this yet, so we're gonna crack it open and see what this feels like. And it's taped down so securely. Um, if only they would close up the lip products as well as they can close up the sponge. Lip products are always getting compromised in Walmart. This is what it looks like. It's got a flat edge, but it's kind of like contoured. It's kind of curved in. It's really, really soft. I suspect this is going to definitely expand size-wise when I saturate it with water, and it seems like it's going to be super soft. So I will use that in an upcoming video. Also from Maybelline, I got the um, Master Cam color correcting pen and this is the one that says apricot for dark circles light to medium skin tones I went ahead and used this today and I have since topped it off with a really light concealer because guys this is I think really too dark for my skin tone this shade here it's a little too deep and maybe I use too much of it um, because you know how you have that first experience where you click up through the pin and you're clicking and you're getting impatient so you're clicking even faster and then all of a sudden zhunk, everything comes up. I may have used a lot but still this color tone just seems way dark and it is advertised for light to medium skin tones and I felt like I was blending it in and I don't think I even totally have it blended as well in my inner corner but I used a really light concealer everywhere else and my circles are still peeking through so I'm not I'm not really feeling this product so much and the last thing I picked up is another one of these Maybelline super stay matte inks I got it in the shade loyalist um, these are one of those things that is always like there's one in every shade sitting out there and they've all been cracked open and messed with you can tell that the seal has been broken but this one this one was good and I love this product so much I have two shades I have lover which is the mauvey pink and pioneer which is the red and I've just been wanting to try more of these so I think I'm gonna try this one on the spot with you here I'm taking off my little um this is the Neutrogena soft caramel lip balm and we will see how this product goes because this is the first nude that I've tried from this line Ooh, okay it's not quite as light and scary as I thought it was gonna be you kind of worry or at least I do 
about these matte lip products that are nudes and the ones that are too light can sometimes look really chalky, like extra dry. But this one looks like actually a great shade. Awesome. Now the question is, will this one last as well as those bolder colors that I have? We'll see throughout the day how that goes, but I love this formula so much. It feels thin, really lightweight, um, flexible, kind of moves with your lips, but lasts like none other. I found myself wishing as I was looking at the line, I was wishing there were more like neutral shades or mid-tone neutrals, but this nude is really pretty. I think I'm gonna love that. Okay, yay, so that is my little drugstore restock. Um, some things that I have legitimately run out of or I'm really close to running out of and had to have my backups handy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I would love to know what products do you absolutely always ensure that you have a backup of. I would love to hear and thank you for watching. Bye.